Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to treat your rabbit when they're going through GI stasis. GI stasis is when their gut slows down or completely stops and it's really dangerous and it can even be deadly to your rabbit. I thought it'd be really important for you to know how to treat your rabbit if they're going through this. As a disclaimer, these are the steps that you should take if you're unable to get your bunny to the vet right away. You should always take your bunny to the vet if they're not eating or pooping, especially if it's been over 12 hours that is very dangerous and your bunny could die within 12 to 24 hours if they're not eating or pooping. So this is just in the meantime, for example, if this happened on a Sunday night and you do not have an emergency bed available to you, then you can follow these steps in order to help your rabbit make it through the night. I'm gonna show you a few of the items that you're gonna need and that you should have on hand before your rabbit goes into GI stasis. So the first one is Oxbow's Critical Care. What this is, is it's a powdered mix that helps make sure that your rabbit has all the nutrients that they need. Rabbits need to be constantly eating in order for their digestive tract to work. So of course, when they're going through GI stasis, they don't want to eat, but you will have to syringe feed this to your rabbit. And it's gonna be tough, but you have to do it in order to help save your rabbit's life. You're also gonna need a syringe in order to feed your rabbit with a small cup or bowl with water in it and a spoon and also a towel which you're going to use to burrito wrap your bunny to feed them. Another thing you should have on hand before your bunny ever gets sick are baby gas drops. They help in order to relieve some of the gas which causes pain which will also make them not want to eat during GI stasis. So before I grab Mozzie to feed her, I just want to show you how I mix the critical care in with the water. So it already comes with a scoop and you're just going to want to have a small amount of water and get your spoon and mix it up. You don't want it to be super watery, but you don't want it to be um, really thick either. So as you can see, it's pretty watery, so I'm going to want to add some more in there. Let's see if another scoop will do it. Mix that up. That's looking a little better. Yeah, so see how it's more sludgy. So just to get this ready before Mozzie gets here and that way it's as stress-free as possible, I like to just already have the syringe ready. So you just stick the syringe in and slowly pull up so it can suck up the, the mixture. All right, so I think that's a fine amount. You can also kind of squeeze out the extra air. That way you're not pushing air into their mouth. And that should be good for now. We're gonna burrito wrap the rabbit so that way it's easier to feed. And I like to have the towel just already spread out like this. Then we'll go ahead and grab Mozzie so we can give her her critical care. All right, here's Mozzie. So I'm gonna show you how to burrito wrap her and everything and also tell you about the signs to look for to see if your bunny is going through GI stasis. You're gonna carefully put her down. It is a little stressful for them. You're gonna try to burrito wrap them. So this will calm her down, make her feel secure. Try to get the, the butt part very close to me so she can't back out. And then you're only going to want her head to be showing like that. What to look for when they're going through GI stasis is lethargy. So they're not going to want to jump around or play or do anything or eat their favorite treat, not even a banana or kind of what happened with Mozzie. And that's when I noticed she was having problems. She wasn't even wanting to eat bananas and that's her absolute favorite. Then you will also notice that they're not drinking water and they're not pooping or they have very small poops. Those are all signs that something is definitely wrong and you need to intervene. You're gonna wanna get the syringe and stick it in her mouth. Try to get past the teeth and then just start slowly pushing in. It will get a little messy, but it's okay. They need to eat. <laughs> it's okay, girl. Just slowly push in. There we go. It's okay. There we go. Give her a chance to taste and eat it. 
There we go. It does get a little messy, but she's eating it, but, so that's good. And she did start already eating hay again, so I'm kind of just giving this to her to make sure that she is eating enough. Good girl. You give her a chance to chew. Good girl. That's a good girl. There you go. Get as much as you can in there. There we go, so she's eating it. Um, like I said, she had a minor case and she's doing a lot better now. She's eating her hay, eating her veggies, drinking water. Her poops aren't 100% normal size, so I'm still giving this to her supplementary. Oops. Well, it might be a little messy. But good job, Mozzie. And it tastes good. It's supposed to be apple and banana flavor, so I'm sure she's enjoying that. Good girl. Good girl, Mozzie. So another thing that you can do if you know that they're in discomfort is gently rub their belly to help get their gut moving and do it for as long as they will allow you to. You don't want to do it too rough, but just gently do that to help um, release some of the gas and pressure that they may be experiencing. Make sure you monitor your rabbit, especially over the next few days. Make sure that they're eating and drinking normally and that their poops look normal. If you notice anything that doesn't look right, make sure to call your vet and just follow up with them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that information was useful to you. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any additional questions or let me know what you do to help your rabbit during GI spaces. I did also want to point out that we got our friends with bunnies t-shirts. Sorry, there's rabbit hair all over it, <laughs> but um, it's going to be linked in the description below. So check them out. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.